Hey folks, how's it going today? Random Andrew here. I'm out doing some random things. As you guys know, I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately. Not much at all. But don't worry, I haven't stopped. I've just been having a lot of issues with getting outdoors lately and doing interesting things. Things worthy of vlogging, of documenting. Uh, there are some interesting things, as I said, in if you've seen the, the submarine video where my friend Jen and I went and checked out a submarine. Very cool, a uh, birth class submarine. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. There's a part two coming to that soon, don't worry. But uh, we are doing some really cool random things coming up. There's a lot of cool things coming up this summer. I'm out on the e-bike today, random adventures, doing random things. It's a little hint of what I'm actually going out to do today. The contents of that new SOG bag, which I'll be showing in the next video, that's a little bit of a hint of what I'm going to do today. You want to know, stay tuned for the next video. It might not be for everybody, but I know some of you are fans of, it, of the sport. And it's something I've been dying to get into. So, where are we today? I'll show you where we are. You probably already know by the title of the video. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be out here. We'll go back here and get a good view of it. But I'm not doing anything destructive. I'm not out here ruining anything. I'm out here trying to document a little bit of what I'd consider pretty big history in the Elgin County, St. Thomas, Port Stanley area. This is a trestle, a train bridge that I have yet to really check out and explore. So, as they all say in these kind of videos, come with me. Come with me now, and we shall check this out. Now approaching the bridge, I did not see any stay away kind of signs. I didn't, I can honestly say I didn't really look too carefully though. You can tell us great big giant steel girder, steel beam construction. This is nothing compared to the, the train bridges that we have in St. Thomas. And if you really want to see this bridge, I'm gonna tell you how you guys can check it out a lot better and a lot safer than what I'm doing here right now. But I have to come out a little bit of ways so I can zoom in on these things. See that little shack, that little hut there? If we go over on the bank, maybe that's a little too far. You can see the remnants of one that's just caved right in. Now, we're not gonna go all the way across because I'm pretty sure this is a no-no. I'm not gonna say 100%, but just to kind of give you a view of everything out here, it doesn't look like this at all on Google Maps. When you're on Google Maps looking around, it looks a lot different. And if you're afraid of heights, hold on to your butts. It's a good long ways down. And let me let me assure you, when you're on this bridge, other than the stunning view of the woods, some fields, some farm stuff, it's no real, nothing to be gained by coming out across the bridge. So I don't encourage it. I grew up in St. Thomas. I crossed a lot of train bridges growing up. This, so this wasn't one of them, but I could say I've at least been on it. What I find to be more interesting though, I'm sure some of you have said it, is go under the bridge, check out underneath it. So, got long legs, we'll use this giant staircase and stepping stone our way down safely. Okay, now look at the size of these things. Okay, they're pretty big. Been around here a long, long time. And because this is out in the middle of nowhere, I'm not gonna say an exact location, but you notice something missing. No graffiti. Isn't that great? Looks really good. We'll go right underneath. It smell, I know you guys can't smell it because you're sitting at home, probably smelling supper cooking. Or maybe you got a dog, maybe you're smelling your dog. But under here, it smells like oil from trains.
pretty groovy. Be a good spot to put a geocache. If you're into that kind of thing. Is that a survey marker up here? Do I see? So it says, Geodetic Survey of Canada, Ottawa, number 650247. I think the bottom one is RM, maybe railway marker. Perhaps you know what that is and know a site to look it up. If you do, drop a link below in the comments section. It'd be kind of neat if you could actually pull the numbers off a survey marker, punch them in and get all the information. All right, well, not a whole heck of a lot to see. Oh, we're gonna make our way back up the opposite side. I think I might snap a few pictures while I'm out here. I'll tell you though, the Elgin, Elgin, no, London Port Stanley Rail. This rail right here has been around forever. This line has been around ancient for the area at least. And this road right here, I'll pop out before the end of the video, we'll walk down and I got a little story about that. But way back, going to the days of the Stork Club. If you don't know the Stork Club, type this, just Google the Stork Club, Port Stanley, Ontario. Look into everything that used to happen with ferrying people across the lake from the states. Famous people. Had the big band thing in the Stork Club, the whole Guy Lombardo setup. Think of uh, Ricky Ricardo, big band, you know? And a lot of them would use this rail going up and down from London to St. Thomas to Port Stanley back. They would use it to ship stuff. So there's a lot of history behind it. A lot that just really isn't, I feel it's underappreciated these days. Look at this little fishing hole. I wonder if you could catch anything in that. It's not connected to anything. I think it's just all flooded. Kind of like this. So this road right here, the hill way up there. I remember coming through here one time Riding to Port Stanley on our bikes as kids, we'd ride all the way out to the main road and then cut off and take the back way the rest of the way. But we'd just be flying along down and you hit these tracks. I don't remember who it was, but they actually had their front tire fold right there, full speed, wiped out. We still went swimming down in Port Stanley for the day. And then as you can see, like you can't just, they, they got a stop sign there because there's no lights or anything. Low visibility for the train if there's one coming. And then you got a corner to deal with. So it was always good fun. I'm sure everybody has back roads around where they grew up and stories similar. But I'm gonna return to the bike. We'll have one more look at this hidden train bridge. It's kind of hidden. I mean, you really have to know your back roads if you're not from the, around the area and you're like into bridges and stuff. You like going out and doing photography. It is kind of tucked away. And I hope that anybody from the London and Port Stanley Rail doesn't have any big issues with me coming out here and sharing their well-maintained bridge. <laughs> See? It's great out today, folks. Don't get my coat wrong. I'm on an e-bike. I like to stay warm. But uh, it's gorgeous out today. Like in the higher te teen temperatures, 15, 16 degrees Celsius, whatever that is, Fahrenheit. It's nice, it's nice. It's good to have this weather back. And I'm really hoping it encourages me to get out and do more stuff. So if you're stuck at home, feeling that same fighting to get out the door, and you're fine once you get out the door, but it's getting out the door, then you know what I'm talking about with those difficulties. So just, you gotta get up and go some days. So you just get up and go, get up and go, and keep saying it until you're up and gone. And we're look at this gorgeous bridge. Isn't that cool? I like appreciating that older construction like that. All right, I'm gonna load up. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video where you get to figure out what I'm doing with this gear. I think you already know. Talk to you guys soon.